Welcome once again. Right now we're at 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 12 through 24. Paul, straightforward and faithful. Paul writes, For our boasting is this, the testimony of our conscience, that in holiness and sincerity of God, not in fleshly wisdom, in other words, not in worldly wisdom, but in the grace of God, we behaved ourselves in the world and more abundantly toward you. For we write no other things to you than what you read or even acknowledge. And I hope that you will acknowledge to the end, as also you acknowledged us in part, that we are your boasting, even as you also are ours in the day of our Lord Jesus. In this confidence, I was determined to come first to you, that you might have a second benefit, and by you to pass through Macedonia, and again from Macedonia to come to you, and to be sent forward by you on my journey to Judea. When I therefore was thus determined, did I show fickleness? Or the things that I purpose, do I purpose according to the flesh, that with me there should be the yes, yes, and the no, no? You need to understand in Jewish culture, you repeat something for confirmation. So it's not just amen, it's amen and amen. So what he is saying here is that he doesn't say yes and no in the same breath, so to speak. But as God is faithful, our word toward you was not yes and no, For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, by me, Silvanus and Timothy, was not yes and no, but in him is yes. Just a little side note here. When Paul says yes in this context, the original is actually amen. So it's not yes, yes, it's amen, amen. What they did is they took the word amen and they translated it into English, yes. For however many are the promises of God, in him is the yes, the amen. Therefore also through him is the amen, according to the glory of God through us. Now he who establishes us with you in Christ and anointed us is God, who also sealed us and gave us the down payment of the Spirit in our hearts. But I call God for a witness to my soul, that I didn't come to Corinth to spare you. We don't control your faith, but we are fellow workers with you for your joy. For you stand firm in faith. So just as Paul said that to the saints in Corinth, so I say to you, stand firm in faith. Seek God with all your heart. And if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.